when we look at technology investment, we can't get away from the fact that there's always risk involved in these. So when organisations are looking at maximising their investment, there's a few things that they really need to focus on. They need to focus on providing an enabling platform. So we don't know what's going to happen in the next two, three, four, five years as technologies such as blockchain, artificial intelligence come to fore. So what uh, organisations need to do is have a foundation in place to be able to deliver the unknown in a, in a period of time. And that involves open APIs, it involves the use of robotics, and it involves blockchain going forward. And when it comes to IT investment, what you need to be looking at is where does the platform take you from there? I think we've moved away from the older model where there was a large upfront cost, and then perhaps you know three, four years later, you were looking at another significant cost. Software deployment has moved away with things like Agile into continuous integration and deployment, whereby the investment spikes that we've seen around upgrades from legacy platforms to the latest versions have moved to a more smoother total cost of ownership for, for providers. Artificial intelligence depends greatly on the data that you're feeding into it. So if your model, for example, only takes one set of data, the responses and, and the analytics are going to be very skewed. By providing open APIs into your large data sets, you can better improve the models and get better actions from those. So at the moment, it's focused very much on a response. So I need to change my address. When is my next payment due? More so now, it's becoming an in-life action. So especially linked in with usage of assets. So it may be saying that you're using this asset a lot this month. Do you want to restructure your payment plan to a more seasonal or variable pro payment profile? I think a lot of organizations at this moment in time are getting themselves into a position where they can respond to change in the future. So what we look at is two elements. We can see organizations investing in their foundational architecture. What that means is common customer data be that your direct customer or all participants such as dealers and remarketing agents. Common product and pricing parameters, not just at the front end through originations, but also in life around changes or remarketing. And also the ability to implement accounting and regulatory change in a single platform. So having that foundational layer is still a key investment strategy. On top of that, being able to respond to change in the future is around an open API architecture. So once you've got your core foundational in place, what you're looking at then is distributing data across APIs to multiple participants within there.